Hello, this is a short five minute training video designed to demonstrate how to locally configure a Dell Thin client running Wise Thin OS to connect to a VMware Horizon 7 View desktop pool. Let me go ahead and start out by showing you the Horizon 7. Uh, this is the environment. If we look at the properties of the desktop pool, look at the default display protocol, a blast, and I've also set allow users to choose a protocol. Now, if we look at the servers and look at my connection server, let's go ahead and look at the properties there. And let's take note of the external URL. We will need that URL as we configure our local thin client. Also note that we are using HTTPS, so we are going to need to take certificates into account as we configure the client. Now on a first boot after resetting defaults, I get this setup wizard. I'm going to say no to load from a, a configuration from a thumb drive and go ahead and set the language and the keyboard layout and the time server to Eastern time zone, uh, which is the time zone I'm in. If I click on advanced in this section, you can actually see there's some additional settings regarding daylight saving, stop and start. Uh, I'm not going to set those uh, for the demonstration, so we'll just click on can cancel and then next. Uh, the management server, we're going to skip past that because we're doing a local configuration for this demo. More on that coming later in the next videos. For the connection protocol broker, select view and go ahead and put the external URL in here. After I type that, I want to go ahead and enable the theme for VMware view to set some specific settings and also I'm going to disable SSL warnings for this first demonstration. Once I click on done, the device will go ahead and reboot. So it was that easy. All I had to do was set the uh, view connection server URL uh, on the device. And again, I also sold it to ignore SSL errors, so I won't get any errors regarding that. So now it comes up and it's going to go ahead and ask me to log in. So I have a user test user. He connects. After that user authenticates, they have a single connection protocol type to a single desktop pool, so I'll automatically log them in. Uh, I'll go ahead and log out of my view desktop and bring you back to my thin client desktop and here you can actually see the connection properties and see that I've got a single blast connection. Now I'm going to reset. I'm going to choose reset the system to factory defaults. That is the way that you get into the uh, the setup wizard on a thin client if you're not at that for some reason. Um, once I get into the setup wizard though, this time what I want to show you is a second way to manually configure your ThinOS client. I'm going to say not to load from thumb drive and then I'm going to immediately exit the wizard. I'm going to go under uh, system tools, under remote connections, set a broker type to VMware view, type in my URL. This time after typing in the URL, I'm going to make a few other changes that I think you may find useful. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I leave the security mode to the default, which means I'm going to also have to do the separate step to imp import the entire certificate security chain. I will set the connection protocol to all supported. So in this case, my uh, pool settings will override. And then I'm going to tell the when I sign out of my last session, it will sign me also out of the thin client. Um, we'll go ahead and then do a default sign on domain and click OK. It's going to ask if I want to reboot, say no there because I actually need to now go into the um, system tools under certificates from a thumb drive. I'm importing my certificate again, a single certificate in this case. Make sure if yours is, uh, if you need the root and the intermediate cert, you do that. Now I can go ahead and restart my thin client. This time I've exited out of the wizard and I manually set those settings, import the certificate. So when it comes up this time, I should get a uh, dialog box that's green and saying that it's secure. Okay, I've got what I need. Go ahead and log in with my test user. And again, I'm using the default um, profile. So I've got the, the default desktop instead of the VMware. But I've got three desktops because I've got an RDP blast and PCIP. Let me select the PCIP and connect to that desktop. Um, and you can see my connection. Now with the change, that additional setting, I said after I exit my last session, which I'll go ahead and do right now, to also log me out of the thing client. So it's logged me out and I'm ready for my next user to log in. So uh, we did a couple quick demos there. We were manually configured the wise thin OS client by going through the mini setup wizard. We also exited out of the wizard and we manually directly put in our broker and imported a certificate from a thumb drive and made the connection. 
Uh, please stay around. I have some follow on videos how to install the Wise Management Suite and how to configure your device and actually go from taking the device out of the box, setting up your network so it automatically finds the Wise Management Suite server, applies the policy, and connects. So, again, hopefully, this video was useful.